I experienced delusions that people were able to read my, my thoughts and, and, and communicate with me as if they were reading my thoughts. This was a delusion. And I made some serious errors in terms of um, my, my ap approach to, 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 to people. I even lost a very good, I had a job as a, a computer network technician and I lost the job because of the mental illness. So it has been a serious mental illness. And also I had a delusion that the, that, that the voices were telling me to take off my shop, socks and shoes and go running on the stone the stony paths around Lilydale Lake. And I thought, oh, well, this is an instruction from from God, I had to take my shoes and socks off and go running around the lake, and I did it, and I ended up being carried into hospital with with my feet all cut up. So you can see it's been a very serious um, case of schizophrenia. Now, with the help of Voices Vic, I've I've told them about my um, my my faith and my belief in God, and um, the, the the key worker there who I had a peer meeting with was able to un unpack those delusions and, and tell me that well if you believe in God and there's the devil then we, we can look we can look at that and she said well you know God would be a, a very good God that wants the best for your health happiness and well-being and the best for other people's health happiness and well-being so would he have told you to do those things and I said no definitely not um, what, what I found is that through Voices Vic and other people like Rivendell and LifeWorks, to, to help and be helped is one of the most refined form, forms of love. To help and be helped is one of the most refined forms of love. To care and to share, to give and to forgive, and to flow and to grow, and to know more right and less wrong. Now, the, the, the key to that whole thing is to know more right and less wrong. Now, I'm helping my mother who's going to be 90, 90 next month, and I go around and cook her breakfast. Now, sometimes my mother will give me little instructions that are sort of a bit annoying, but I said, all right, Rana, just be tolerant, and she's a beautiful person, and to know more right about mum, and, and, and share time with her and, and do her medication. I cook a breakfast every day. So with, with any relationship, there are things that are wrong and there are things that are right, but you can choose to know more right with the people that have treated me with, med with, with medication and a community treatment order. So I, I don't like some of the things they've done to me, but then they, they're trying to help me and they want the best for me. So to know more right about things. So coming back to my mother's kitchen, there I was in my mother's kitchen, cooking her scrambled eggs for breakfast, whipping up the the eggs and, and then I felt something in the back of my shirt I said Roland what's happened in the back of your shirt and I put the hand into the back of my shirt and I found a cardboard one of these in the back of my shirt so I went to my perspex friend and got him to make them up into into perspex and I call it the crown of life and the shield against evil. And I believe it comes directly from the, from the Creator. So I give it to people and tell them it's the crown of life and the shield against evil. So all those things that have happened to me with the delusions, I say, right, this is my shield against those delusions. And the crown of life is, life is when I help people and, and when I'm helped. And also on my journey, I've made a collage over 30 years. Now this is a picture of the collage that I've made over 30 years. And it takes me back in my memory over 30 years, and I'm still working on it to this, to this very day. In fact, I'm picking it up from the, from, from the printing shop today. So I, over 30 years, I'm still working on it. And in the, in the center is this circle. Now, what I look at that circle is my innermost being is, is my thought life. Nobody can judge you for your thought life. That is between you and your creator. But they can judge you for what, what you say. So you'll be judging me on my movements with my hands and my words. And if I get my thought life right and away from delusions and have, have, have a characteristic of a loving God, then I can be mentally very healthy. Once that they, if I stay mentally healthy, they're going to turn me off the medication altogether. So my journey is from a very serious schizophrenia which could actually have killed me I went swimming in the lake at night and nearly drowned because I thought the voice was telling me so from a serious mental illness which I could have died from to mental health and being an instrument in the creator's hands so I would like to um, 
just finish off by saying that the, the, there's something that's really helped me is using audible commands to control my behavior. So one of the commands I use is do it now, clap, clap. I make an, an objective statement like clap. And then I say, right, do it now. And I clap. And I'll say, do it later. Clap. And then I'll say, do it differently. So I did it differently. Now, the key to that is, whenever something comes up, do it now, do it later, I'm confident about doing it that it's, that it's for my health, happiness and well-being. But whenever it's something comes up that says do it differently, I think, right, I'm going to communicate about this with other people, I'm going to pray to God, and I'm going to reason, and I'm going to relate to it. And if it's do it differently, it means it's one of those things that I did that isn't, wasn't good for me, that I will do differently from now onwards and I'll communicate with Voices Vic and my caseworkers and so on. Thank you very much for listening and I'll, I hope your journey works out as well as mine has.